Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. Welcome to the next Let's Create Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be modeling a Greek style temple. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. This tutorial is using Blender 2.8. The link for downloading this version is in the description below. Let's start by making the base. In your Render tab, change the Render Engine to Cycles. Under the Modeling Workspace, change to Orthographic View. And then scale the cube, which will be our temple base, to the desired size. Then select the bottom face of the base and extrude it down along the z-axis. Then scale this new section of the base along the x and y-axis. And go ahead and repeat these steps one more time so that we have a total of three steps. Now let's work on the temple. Let's add a cube that's going to be our temple and place it on top of the temple base. Then scale the temple to the size that you want, but remember you need to leave room for columns around all four sides. Tab into object mode, add a cube, and then move it and scale it to the desired size for the door on the front of the temple. Then move this cube so it intersects with the rest of the mesh. Select the temple and add a boolean modifier. For the object, select the cube 001. For operation, change this to difference. Then go ahead and apply the modifier. Move the cube that we used to make the door away from the temple. Make sure everything looks like you want it to look. Then go ahead and delete the cube. Select the temple again and go back into edit mode. Add a vertical edge loop down the center of the door. 
select both sides of the doors. I'm going to inset these. You'll need to hit I twice to make sure that you're insetting them individually. Add another cube and this is just going to be a real simple door handle. Scale the cube accordingly. Then add two horizontal loop cuts to the front of the door handle. And scale them along the Z axis. Then select the back faces on the top and the bottom of the door handle and extrude them along the Y axis. Then select the entire door handle and scale it and align it to the doors. Duplicate it and put one on the other door. Now we're going to work on the columns. So add a cylinder. Make the vertices 18 and change the end cap to triangle fan. Go ahead and scale the column to the desired size. and select the top and bottom faces and extrude them along the Z axis then click E to extrude and then immediately hit enter and then extrude these new faces along the z-axis and then scale them along the x and y axes then extrude the faces one more time along the z-axis Now select all the faces in the center then inset them. Make sure you're insetting them separately. And then we want to extrude them back in towards the center of the column. Select your entire column and scale it so it is the same size as the actual temple.
and separate the column from the rest of the mesh. Tab into object mode. Make sure that you only have the column selected. Add an array modifier. We're going to make copies to fill the front of the temple space. Then once you have them in place, go ahead and apply your array modifier. Tab back into edit mode. Select one of the corner columns. And then separate it from the rest of the mesh. Tab back into object mode. Make sure you just have that one column selected. Then add an array modifier and we're going to fill the side of the temple. Now once you have the array modifier the way that you want it, Apply the modifier, select everything, and join everything into one mesh again. Tab back into edit mode. And what we need to do is duplicate the rest of the front and side columns to put them on the back of the temple and the other side of the temple. Now we're going to work on the roof. So select the top face of the temple, hit E to extrude and then immediately hit enter. And then scale the new face to the roof side. It needs to cover the temple as well as the columns. Then extrude this face up along the z-axis just a little bit, give it a little bit of thickness. Add a vertical loop cut to the very center of the roof. Then select just the very top part of the edge loop. And then pull it up along the z-axis to form the pitch of the roof. Select your faces on the front and the back of the roof. We're going to inset them. You may have to hit I twice to make sure that you are not insetting them separately. And then extrude these faces back along the Y axis towards the center of the temple roof. Now we're just going to do a real simple UV unwrapping. So under the UV editing workspace, make sure that you are in edit mode. Select the entire temple. 
and unwrap the model, we're just going to use a Smart UV Project. So U, Smart UV Project. Hit OK. Then under the UV menu, choose Export UV Layout and save your UV. Now we're just going to add a couple really simple materials. So in object mode, delete the default material. And then under the shading workspace, tab into edit mode and open up the UV that you just saved. In the Materials tab, let's add a new material. We'll just call it Stone. And give it a base color. I'm going to use the hex code of BBA784. I'm going to change the roughness all the way up to 1. The specular to 0.2 and the sheen tint to 0.2. And then just assign this to the entire mesh. And we're just going to add one more material. We'll just call this wood. Give it a base color. I'm using the hex code of 864224. Again, putting the roughness to 1. Specular at point 0.2 and the sheen tint to point 0.2. And then assign this material to the door handles and the doors. Okay, and there is your very simple Greek style temple. If you want to bake the UVs, go ahead and hit Shift A. Go to Texture, Image Texture. Then open up your UV. And copy this onto the other material. Then under the Render tab, Twirl open where it says bake and then click on bake. And don't forget to save out this new UV. Just click on the hamburger menu here. Go to image, save as, and then save out your UV. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations you make in Blender. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.